Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. Glad you're here this morning. We've got some special guests here in the studio. But first, let's take a look at our weather brought to us by uh, one of our favorite sponsors because we get to talk to them every day. Our Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Drew Pollard and the hardworking crew taking care of our everyday comfort needs. We're looking at a high today of 60 and a low of 50. How easy is that? Water temperature hanging in there at about 57.5. Dropped about a half a degree the last couple of days. Look at that river region brought to us by Panama City, Coca-Cola. Look at that Appalachia Cola at Blunstown. Folks, it has gone up. It's reading right now 12.5. That means they've opened up the gates at Chattahoochee, and so it's just you know really, really high uh, for this time of year. Take a look at the Choctatchee Care Bill. This reading this morning is the same way, 10.3. We just had a steady rain come through in the, in the uh, dry areas up there, just coming right on down the Choctatchee River into the bay. So just be aware of what the rivers are doing. Our tie chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. Today is January the 30th. Okay, look at it. We had neat tie today and tomorrow. We have neat tides and we're going to hit February and we'll talk about that uh, February, really that weekend, we're going to have deep tides. Uh, Sunday's going to be good tides, so we'll talk about that later. Our wind will be coming out at single digits now, which is cool. At eight miles an hour, we're coming out west-northwest. Uh, let's take a break. We'll come back with our special guest. Okay, welcome back and welcome to our guests this morning all the way from Port St. Joe. Got up early this morning and drove over to be on Panhandle Outdoors. I want to welcome Joy Jernigan and we've got to make sure uh, Rob Martin. Yes, sir. I've, I've yes, known sir. him, I'm always going to get his last name. I've never known about his last name, I've always known him Rob. So welcome to the show. It's good to be Thank here, you, Coach. Good to be here. Rob, you've been on before, a good while back. Right? I was, yes, sir. I was on, it was several years ago. Several years back. Yes, sir. Well, tell us, y'all tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, Rob Martin, I'm originally from Graceville, Florida. I'm recently retired from the Department of Agriculture, been in Port St. Joe since 2012. Okay. And uh, really enjoying it. What made you decide in Port St. Joe? Actually, my wife uh, got a job in Port St. Joe. She transferred with the health department. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just kind of followed her down here. My territory with the Department of Agriculture encompassed Gulf County. So I was able to live and work and keep the same job with the Department of Agriculture. Okay. And then she's actually been transferred back to Mariana now, but uh, she's willing to drive for that hour and 20 minutes so we can still live in Port St. Joe. Yeah, paradise. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, sure. Hi, Joey, what about you? I'm Joey Jernigan. Um, I'm originally from the great state of North Carolina. I've been living in Florida for, since 98, Gracefield, like Rob. But my wife, Lori, and I, we moved down to Port St. Joe uh, oh, about four years ago, full time. And mm -hmm. it's been a, that was a dream come true. So we're, we're happy to be there. Well, y'all kept going back and forth. Y'all been spending a lot of time over the yes, years. Sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. We've been watching you and tell you, hearing all about yeah. St. Joe Bay. So we had to go try it out. So it's been, we've been going, I guess, it's been 20 years. We've been going to Port St. Joe. Well, I either take blame or credit, huh? <laughs> We're going to we'll give you credit, credit we'll, we'll say credit on okay. credit. I'll tell you what kind of credit. Check out these shirts right here. I just put this one on. This is a gift yes, they sir. brought. Uh, going Coastal. Uh, I don't know if you read it here, but all three were matching. We've never had it, but all three of us been matching on the show before. So it's a first for Panhandle Outdoors. But thank you so much for this gift. This yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Yeah, they're, they're good shirts. Sure. Tell us good. about uh, well, tell us about going coastal. Going coastal is a shop and I uh, that Lori and I have in Port St. Joe. It's at 103 Reed Avenue. Okay. It's, uh, it's uh, has yeah, a little it? bit of everything: gifts, uh, furniture, and one of the things we like it has the oddities on there. <laughs> you can never know what you might find in there. Good people luck people have uh, been very receptive to it, and we've been very blessed with. Okay, here's the inside of You've got all, all kind of cool stuff. We've been in there, folks. What a neat place. So next time you go to St. Joe, you need to run in there and see Lori or Joy or whoever's in there working. And uh, we got some good people in there working. I so, know you uh, do. Yes, sir. So it'd be love for you to come by. Yeah, going coastal. I, I like that. And uh, it's a uh, uh, so these shirts are all in there. So you have a little bit. Of we everything? have we have um, some shirts similar to this. T-shirts, 
some hats with the going coastal on there yeah. and just a wide variety yeah something for everybody we have a uh, we have so many pictures to get to you that something for everybody those are little areas like that like uh, reed avenue that place if an old timer like me and we used to go down to st joe and you know you had a paper mill there and, and it was just you know, good folks and everything but man look at the people now it's, yeah, it has I, grown I, I tell people i say you've been to Fort st joe lately on friday night no they usually the town shuts down unless it's a ball game but i said no friday night saturday night they people all right. it's, it seems like uh really after the hurricane michael yeah hit, i don't know uh through contractors coming in or just how it really started exploding but we've seen an increase in not just visitors but population even there's yeah. a lot of houses being put up but yeah, yeah a, a lot of uh family vacationers now it, it, it really it really is phenomenal it really is i i, I just get tickled i laugh about it all the time i said uh have you been to Port Saint? i'm talking about some guys my age the ladies my age i said you've been down there lately no but you gotta check it out they got oh, some got... great restaurants if you go hungry it's your own fault you know what? There's some really good eating down yes, there. Absolutely. Fine eating. Fine eating. And, and I think about Blue Water Outriggers when they first built that. You know, I said, I hope they have enough business to stay in business. You got to stand in line there. You, you can't stand in move line. in there That's now. Right. It's so That's busy. Right. You know? And yeah. they got a little bit of everything yeah. in there. So you, if you need it, uh, for hunting and fishing, they got it. I love that, to see it. And that's the thing about Gulf County. I mean, it's mainly families and fishermen uh, that are coming to the county. Uh -huh. uh, you think about it, I don't know of another county in the state that provides the fishing that Gulf County has with the rivers, with the lakes, Wimico, Dead Lakes, uh, and then you've got the bay, and then you've got access to the Gulf. It's a it sportsman's is. paradise for it somebody really, that loves to really fish. It really is. Yep. It really is. And it's, it's drawing that particular yeah. kind of. And people, the secret's been out a little bit now. Yes, sir. I'm afraid so. Yes, yeah. sir. Not really forgotten much anymore. Okay. We got, we got a bunch of pictures. These guys, you know, I, they come around because they love to fish. And I mean, they, they're they constantly sending me pictures and everything going on. So let's let's show a couple of them real quick before the break. All right, check this one out. Tell us about this one. Well, that's one that uh, we had, my son and I had a good afternoon uh, on the bay. That's been probably two months ago now before the water got too cold. And uh, just a couple redfish out there throwing a, um, I think that day we were throwing live bait on that one. All yep. right. Whoa, we were jumping in salt water, fresh water. That's what those, happens. Those were dead lakes. Those were a good afternoon of uh, just finding a few good ones on dead lakes. And like I say, uh, it's you can choose where you want to fish. <laughs> you That's got right. salt and fresh. That's right. Check this out. This is, I love this one. Yes, sir. That's um, that's out at the Cape, uh, close to uh, the Rich Park there on the Cape. One of the, some of the many times that we go out there, and one thing that's good about uh, Gulf County, you can, can drive out on the beach, and it gives me access being in a chair uh -huh. where I can drive out on the beach and get out there and actually go surf fishing. Yeah. So it's uh. Very nice. That was that was a good day. That surf well, fishing special out there. It we, really it, is. It we really do a is. lot of it. Okay. Uh, we, we got a lot more pictures. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back. So here with Joy Jernigan and Rob Martin. And you, uh, Rob, you told me this guy named Mark Gibson. Is the your, one and only. The one and only bug man. <laughs> okay. He lives at Howell Creek now from Graceville. That's your brother-in-law? It is. Okay, couldn't Ricky. Have, couldn't have a better one. Uh, he's a great one. So uh, how did he end up from Graceville well, <laughs> to, to Howard Creek? Uh, it's a long story, but I think you can tell it best. Uh, <laughs> you, Coach, he went there watching you. He had to be a part of that golf. Uh, I wanted the same with Commerce to start compensating me for getting all these people down here. But, I, it, but He's it, been a big fan of your show for an awful long, long time. When he was long. in Graceville, he would actually... Uh, Tell us to make sure we watched you uh, and uh, oh yeah. And good morning down at Howard Creek, Mark, Susie, Ricky, all you folks down at Howard Creek. Okay, well uh, we got to move along while we picture. Check this one out right here, folks. Uh, what about this trip? Hey, that's talking about Mark. That was on his boat. <laughs> we went out and uh, had a good day with the red snapper. Uh, Mark he loves the fish he, too. He put us on them. All right. This is some of our ICW fishing. We go down at night, and uh, you can't do much with these big black drum except catch them and release them. They're not good for much, but it's always fun to catch. And, and right now is a good time to be down there fishing with a crab, a uh -huh. blue crab, half a crab, whatever size you have. 
but it's uh, they're pretty prevalent down there. Uh, that's cool. All right. Well, that was a good day we had um, again out there on the, at Cape Sand Blast by uh, Rish Park. Yeah. Out there again on the beach with the access to get out there. There's Pompano. Uh, got Pompano, Flounder, a few little whiting. They say we ate good. You did and you see good. perched on the front of the uh, uh, front of the truck there, that's uh, Rob's metal detector. Okay. <laughs> that's like his American Express. He doesn't leave home without one. He, <laughs> yeah, loves, that's he cool. loves his you, metal you, detector. You enjoy doing that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Not just the beach areas, but, you know, poor St. Joe's such a historical town with uh -huh. St. Joseph and so many opportunities to get out and try to find some neat stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, that, that's really cool. You had fair and bear treasure yet? From all the Not yet, but uh, Coach, I'll be sure to come on the show when I do. Yeah, you tell about that. <laughs> bring them out. You got it. Oh, yeah. I right, love this next picture. Check it out. Yep, again, that's uh, us out there on, out on the Cape, and that's uh, I doubled up on a couple pompano, and that was uh, exciting getting those back in because a pompano is a great fighting fish, and you get two of them on there, and they were both keeper size. They did not want to come to shore. I just fight, man. Okay, look, George's uh, gonna ask you, you got your rod, your rod holder. Which way is it leaning? <laughs> now, what's the story? That gotta be a story. <laughs> well, I had that one lean back to prop it in once, once we got the fish okay. in there. People have got to lean in. Because down there. on the water, and see that one, that's leaning toward it. So, and that's, I thought, I look at the little details when I get a picture like this. That's a good day, it's a real calm day, and, uh, and it's really uh, pretty, how many people are out there? <laughs> I mean, you don't, well, early spring when the pompano start is yeah. a great time to be out there. Um, oh, I love it. It's not busy and and uh, usually the water's calm and the weather's pretty. So my just the sights. What, what about look at this? How cool is that? Where are you? Okay, let's, let's, about that one. let's see. That's a deer. Let's three, see. That is um. It was about three weeks ago. Yeah, you remember yeah. where the Donna Cave was out there on the Cape? Yeah, the Donna right Cave around the old. Stuff? Uh, Coast Guard. Right there by the uh, close to where the old uh, Coast Guard, where the lighthouse used to be. Yeah. That is out there. Rob got those pictures. That's cool to have that government property where nobody can uh, build and it's a wildlife, it's like a wildlife sanctuary. To see deer on the beach is real cool. Yeah. Real, just, that's that's cool. not your everyday. That's, that's a Ow, cheap. With the gulf in the background. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good picture. She's checking us out. All right. Now tell this got to be a story here. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, right. Jamie Commander, who's in the picture with me there, he's a local boy from here from Panama City. He knows that Lower Chipola as good as anybody out there. We were at Bright Landing where we put in that day and setting some bush hooks. And uh, that's the first bush hook we came up to that, that afternoon. And that he weighed 24 pounds, that big blue cat did. No so that was exciting. So you called, him. you called him on a bush hook? We did. Yep. So when he came up to it, was that bush? Just it was. It was that limb was bending pretty good. It was no doubt there was a good fish on know, that one. That, that's the exciting thing about it, those bush hooks because they, the anticipation as you come oh, up it, to it. What's on it now? What's on it now? It's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. You have any idea it's going to be a twenty-four pound? Blue Not cat? at all, especially the first one. Yeah. Yeah. That I mean, was uh, when you go to when one won't fit in the net. You know, <laughs> that's when you start trying to figure out what you're going to do, and we wrestled him in, but it was, uh, yeah, and the rest of the day was good, too, but that was the best one. That's and good. he ate good, too. Oh, oh yeah. man. Oh, yeah. What did y'all put on your bush hook bait? What well, Jamie would probably get on to me for this. Well, don't, uh, for that don't secret, let him for that secret, secret out. For that secret, but uh, I'm going to go ahead, being that we're here on Coach's show, and give the right. <laughs> panhandle a good hot dog weenies. I know it. <laughs> as simple as you can get. And uh, yeah. All right, Bill Shields, you hear that now. Got Sorry, Bill. Jamie. Uh, no, there are all kinds of concoctions that I, I love. <laughs> you, I could write a book on different ways to do it. All right, we've got some things coming up. Tell us about this. Well, this, the Sportsman's Bank was coming up in, in March. The uh, uh, Port St. Joe Lions Club really helped promote that. March the 14th. March 14th. And, uh, I've been to it before. They really do a good job. You have, get, have some good uh, raffles and and all. And how would they get tickets? Just uh, uh, there's uh, you go to Ramsey's Outdoors. They'll have tickets there. Okay. Uh, any Lions Club members will have some tickets. I happen to be in the Lions Club, so. Okay. Well, I want to get. And it's going to be at the marina. It's going to be at the at marina. The marina. So, yes, okay. Sir. Good yes, deal. Sir. All right. And. Okay, y'all have all kinds of stuff going on down there. What's the blues on reed? I, I first thought of blues on redfish, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> tell us about that one. Well, Joe Whitmer is our chamber uh, president there in Port St. Joe, and he has come 
really a long way with this. It's uh, They close down Reed, yeah. and they have some great entertainment all day long. They come from Tallahassee and all around uh, uh. Panama City, I think, has a few artists, and it's vendors set up, mm -hmm. up and down Reed, and have, cool. have some very good music, and it's, it's a very good time to just, the community really comes together. Yeah. When you close off those streets, yeah. I mean, yeah. everybody just joins in, and a, that's, a, that's a great it's a event. Good crowd. It's, a, yeah. it's a good event, good music, yeah. good food, just a good well, time for everybody. Yep. I can remember that date now because that's my birthday. All right. Oh, really? I may come down there and uh, just... Uh, we'll sing happy birthday, birthday to you, Coach. <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll give them a sing happy right. birthday to you. Okay. And right around the corner here, everybody does a little Mardi Gras and baby cakes and got a parade. So... And, go ahead, Joe. Yes, sir. That's uh, Tuesday, February the 13th. Uh, again, the parade will be going down, go down and read. Uh, at Reed Avenue, it's going to end up at the Hardy Heron, where there'll be some live music and some uh, good uh, New Orleans-style food. Oh, Wait yeah. Me. I love that food. Okay, and let's see. Now, this is on down the road, but it's still, we got the date now, finally, because this is the first time I've heard of it. It's going to be when? Uh, it's the first Saturday in, in May. Let's, let's see, May 4th. Okay. It's the Swivel Sisters. You're familiar with the Swivel Sisters. Yeah, they're Sisters. coming on probably next week or two. Yeah, so, so the we'll, Swivel we'll Sisters about there. It. And that's an active, uh, active group of ladies right there. They love the yeah. fish, hunt, do, do, it, do a little bit of all of it. And they I have know. a good time doing it. So, so you just see, we've just been through a, a, all kind of different things going on down there. Freshwater fishing, surf fishing, uh, activities on Reed Avenue, Swivel Sisters. So when we say that's why everybody's going down to St. Joe now. Yes, sir. Uh, there's so they much got going something on. going on for, for everyone, for the yeah. family. It's just, it's, yeah. it's a, Good area, and uh, they have a lot to do. Okay, let's take a final break. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Here are guests, uh, Joe and Rob. We we have uh, we just comment on our on our shirts, and all. we're going to take a picture of it. But uh, going coastal, That's going coastal, the, yes, sir. Okay, going coastal. One hundred three Reed Avenue. And speaking of Port St. Joe, uh, let's take a look at our fishing game time. Brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers from Port St. Joe. We're looking at two eleven to 4.11 this morning and this evening from 2.30 to 4.30. So we've got some more pictures now. We're going to switch over this uh, this ramp. We're talking about the city of, of Port St. Joe. Yes, sir. This and is this, at, the, okay, at we, the jetty by the marina. This is the new ramp that the city and the county has put in. It uh, By the gazebo down by the end, it just makes access for Swimming yourself in a wheelchair or rolling your fishing carts and all down. Mm -hmm. And as you see, people are taking advantage of it, getting out there and catching some fish. And they've been catching some decent little fish there in the marina. Well, very nice, very nice there. And, uh, and here's, here's yeah, the ramp. That's the beginning of the ramp that goes down. You can see the, the boat storage in the yeah. background back there. Yeah, St. Joe Marina is sort of behind Blue Water back there. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's really cool. And check this one out. Yeah, this is the, the right new pier that they, they put. As you first go back there by the jetties, it's by close by the bathhouse. They extended the size of it, it goes out, um, and it's completely accessible. Okay, and, so uh, you, you can go on to it any time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they, they have plenty of room. Yes, sir. plenty of room. Place to prop your rods, and even if you go out there for night fishing, the lights that are around by there, you got you got plenty of light. It's yeah. it's gonna be good. It's gonna be because a lot of fish are caught off the off those jetties. So. Yeah, we they were catching kings this fall. Remember that? Yeah. They were catching when the mullet run came in. Yeah. They were catching king mackerel off the just fishing that? off there. That, that's cool something that? else. We have a lot of our northern friends in town now, and they're really using it quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Are they going to tell you how to, how to do it? I think so. Action? We enjoy <laughs> watching them. I can tell you that, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> entertaining. Speaking of entertainment, check this out right here. Tell us what's going on here. That's a gentleman. We were out this weekend just uh, riding and looking and thought we might take some local pictures of things going on. And that's coming right out the ICW. That gentleman there has got his crab trap set out there. He's a commercial uh, crabber. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's harvesting some blue crabs there. Yeah, that's for the canal coming out, the ICW uh -huh. canal coming out by the tape here. And also going on the same way. Here's somebody. And, and there's been quite a few trout caught out there in the shallows and for the transition from the uh, canal into the shallows there. And that's just a gentleman out there with some hip waders on, uh, yeah. casting for mainly trout. And some flounder actually been caught out there as well. And that's, that's what I'm telling you, the beauty of this area, you can do all of this, okay? Those are some of the guys under the bridge there um, that are just out fishing basically for whatever they can 
get to bite. Uh, they caught some black drum mm -hmm. and one caught a trout uh, while we were there. that water moving. All right, real quick, what do we have here? Uh, that's erosion. That's probably. erosion, yes, sir. That, that's uh, it's something else while with the mother nature is uh, yeah. claiming its land back. Yeah, and you know, if you're talking about the all been here for a relative short period of time compared to, uh, but you all seen that in four or five years. It really has. Yes, the sir. water levels yes, are sir. actually coming up, and with the storms we're having, it's really, this is out there at Salinas and where the Donna K used to be, and it has just taken palm trees down. The water level wow. is coming up through these uh, winds and storms, and it's changing wow. the look and the landscape of the beach out there. It really is. It we're, is. we're losing palms. Just You'd be amazed the number of palm trees are getting taken out, and just a lot yeah. of the the breed is being washed up. Yeah. You know, I remember years back when watching you would take your, when you were teaching, you would take your classes out and go do the uh, plant to sea oaks. Yes. We could use, get you some of we'll need to, yeah, your we'll, kid to get back in and get some sea oaks. We need to do that. Uh, that's because that, that's really, I, I've showed it a little bit, but I'm glad y'all brought this. You can see it even more. Oh, yes, it's, it's, it's yes, really sir. necessary. The vegetation out there is about the only thing that saves it. And your houses are getting in trouble, and then you go, uh, I'll tell you Very what. Much so. Concern me, other than safety of people, would be the uh, we're losing our beach area to fish on. Absolutely, I mean, uh, very much. Especially yeah. when you initially go around the stump hole, yeah. going out yeah. to to the uh, cape, it is. It's yeah, you used else. to could put in and drive from there all the way down to almost the state park yeah. and pull out, but right. now they have it where you can't. Well, you couldn't if you wanted to. The water levels have come up, and yeah. I mean it's meeting the houses out there. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's really cutting into it. I don't know. Yeah, that's the problem. We, I don't know what we do about it. But it's a problem. We've got a minute or two left. Here we are, first of February tomorrow. So what's uh, what's y'all's outdoor plans? Come out uh, February March. Well, February, you know, trout season closes in the right. western Panhandle. Uh, did find out that. Gulf County has uh, three landings that fall yeah. under the Big Bend regulations, the White City Landing, the uh, Depot Creek Landing, mm -hmm. and Indian Pass. Yeah. Those land you fall under the Big Bend trout regulations. Season does not close in February, and mm -hmm. you, you limit it's five. But okay. All right. Well, we're chasing we're those and getting some redfish, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. some yeah. redfish, yeah. and then before you know it, it's going to be Pompano. 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 We just promised now we're going to do, we're going to take a trip together uh, out on the beach. Hopefully so. we'll have some pictures of us three catching Pompano yeah. next yeah. time we and come we on. Wear these shirts. There yeah. you go. That's right. We will represent and, and have some good fish to show, and then we'll show the fish fry afterwards. That's right. right. That sounds great. Thank you all for coming over. Always great to see you all. And, uh, Y'all go by visit going coastal. Yes, and, uh, sir. Y'all stay in touch. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it letting us be here. All right. Appreciate y'all. Y'all do something good today for your fellow man. You have a great day today. Enjoy the great outdoors. Take care of it. And God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.